This how-to video, we will cover the recommended equipment care for Kelman DGA 900 multi-tank monitors. Video guidance. This how-to video should be watched in conjunction with the relevant operator guides. It is the operator's responsibility to adhere to all local and regional environmental and engineering regulations. It is the installer's responsibility to maintain the IP rating. IP56 when closed, IP20 when open. Please watch this how-to video completely before commencing this task. This video was recorded in a simulated environment. Preparation. Back up all equipment measurements and data. Ensure the equipment is in standby mode. Disable the equipment scheduler. Power off the monitor. Lock out and tag all equipment energy sources. Post equipment care. Remove lockout and tag out. Re-energize the equipment. Ensure all equipment historic data is present. Reset date and time. Re-enable scheduler. Exchanging the hub module battery. Open the front door. The battery is located on the host board inside this compartment. Remove the top and bottom nuts. Remove any communication connections. Slide the board out and support to prevent cable damage and or disconnection. It is necessary to remove the internal perspex cover to access the battery. Loosen and remove the bottom two screws, loosen the top screws only. The battery model is described in the equipment support guide. With the cover removed, use a non-conductive tool to remove and replace the battery. When the battery is replaced in the correct orientation, refit and secure the perspex cover. Slide the host board back in, it may be necessary to assist this process by adjusting the cables at the back of the board. Refit the securing nuts, communications, then remove any lockout tag out and power on the monitor. You may need to resynchronize the system clock in the operating software. Replacing the analysis module battery. This battery is positioned inside the analysis module on the gas manifold control unit, GMCU, PCB. Complete all recommended preparation, open the analysis door. Remove the internal thermal cover. On the GMCU you will see the coin cell battery near the back. Remove the cables in front of the battery with care marking their location and orientation prior to disconnecting. Always use the release lever for each connector. It may be necessary to hold the GMCU in place whilst removing the cable connectors. Place the cable safely out of the way to proceed. With a non-conductive tool, remove and replace the battery with the same type. Space is limited in the analysis module, take care not to disturb or damage any other cables. After removing the battery, confirm the model type and with a new battery, reinsert in the correct orientation. Reconnect all the cables to the correct location. Reinsert the thermal cover and close the outer door. Complete re-energization tasks. Changing or cleaning the hub module inlet air filter. This filter is positioned on the underside of this module. 
It may be more convenient for you to complete this task from the rear of the monitor, if access allows and is safe to do so. Remove the four securing nuts, ease off the filter housing, note, this may require some assistance as the seal may be stuck. With access to the filter, you can then decide to replace or clean out the filter element. Ensure it is reinserted in the correct orientation, i.e. gauze wire on the outside to capture larger particles. Check the housing seal for excessive deformation. If gaps are present in the circumference, you may either replace the seal or repair locally. Resecure with the nuts and washers to ensure a tight fit and maintain the IP rating. Replacing or cleaning the hub module outlet filter. Open the hub module outer door. The filter is located on the top side. Remove all the securing nuts and washers. Remove Clean or replace the filter or filters. Resecure to the door to ensure a tight fit. Reclose the outer door. Cleaning or replacing the inlet oil filters. This task may be completed as proactive equipment care task or as resolution to a service diagnostic code. Close all the Kelman ball valves. Open the analysis module and remove the internal thermal cover. At the bottom of the combined oil manifold, you will find the oil valve and filter housings. Remove the four screws that secure the filter housing only. There is no requirement to remove the valve separately. Place an absorbent material to prevent oil contamination. using a 2.5 mm hex drive, loosen the four screws, securing on the relevant inline oil valve and filter housing and remove as a complete assembly. A small amount of oil will leak from the orifice, remove and replace the filter as described in the equipment support manual. You may clean the filter or exchange for the same micronic value. Clean out the filter orifice as necessary. Check the condition of the housing o-rings, their placement and serviceability. Reinsert the filter, ensure it is fully in location, they should be a press fit with the rubber o-ring. Now you may refit the valve and filter housing, be aware that they must be relocated in the correct orientation. Resecure the four screws, cross tighten to an engineering feel, if you have a torque tool, retighten to 0.8 newton meters. Complete post equipment care tasks to continue monitor operation. If there is a second manifold, this filter is located behind the plate inscribed filter. Remove the four securing screws, plate and filter.
clean or exchange the filter, check the O-rings for placement and serviceability. This filter plate does not have a control valve, it is a single source manifold only. Refit the filter and plate, refit the screws. Cross tighten and torque if available to 0.8 Newton meters. Reopen the Kelman oil control valves. Cleaning the Peltier fan group and fins. You may wish to use compressed air or low pressure water to clean this module. To remove the fan group, to clean and fully access the heat distribution fins. Remove the six screws, support the fan group and disconnect the internal power cable. Clean with your chosen medium. Reconnect the fan group power control cable and refit the fan group to the module. Complete post equipment care tasks. Always refer to the equipment support manuals and guides to assist with these tasks. If you require any further support please do not hesitate to contact a G. Vernova M&D representative. Thank you for watching this how-to video and please check for other M&D product support content at this site.